Let's say someone tells you that he would like you to install an invertible load center. Would you know what he's talking about? First, let's go over what a load center is and more specifically, what a main lug only load center is. A load center is used in residential and light commercial applications to distribute electricity supplied by the utility company throughout the home or building to feed all the branch circuits. Each branch circuit is protected by the circuit breaker housed in the load center. Main lug only load centers are typically applied downstream of a main circuit breaker panel. For main lug only load centers, the incoming cables are terminated on the line side of the lugs that are attached directly to the bus. No main overcurrent device exists in the panel. This is an example of a main lug only load center. The main circuit breaker is here. Check out these planes. Most people would say that they are flying upside down, but a more accurate way to describe them is that they are flying inverted. Inverted means to put upside down or in the opposite position, order, or arrangement. So when you see on a spec sheet for a load center that it's invertible, it means that it's okay to install it with the lugs up as seen in this picture or the lugs down as seen in this picture. Neither way is actually upside down because it's made to be installed either way. I'll show you some features of this invertible load center. First of all, it's listed by the manufacturer as being invertible. On this document found on the Siemens website, it states that this particular model number of load center is invertible. All the circuit breakers, including a main circuit breaker, if it's added later, turn on and off sideways. The main descriptive sticker is installed sideways on the back of the panel door. This UL listed sticker is sideways. The door latch is sideways. The space numbers 1 through 30 are all written sideways and the two hanging holes are made so that you can quickly hang the load center lugs up or lugs down. This is from 2020 NEC article 240 overcurrent protection and this is part 3 enclosures. This is pertinent because our load center is a type of enclosure. This is article 240.33 vertical position. Enclosures for overcurrent devices shall be mounted in a vertical position. Circuit breaker enclosures shall be permitted to be installed horizontally where the circuit breaker is installed in accordance with 240.81. And we'll look at that in just a minute. Listed busway plug-in units shall be permitted to be mounted in orientations corresponding to the busway mounting position. And here we are at 240.81 indicating circuit breakers shall clearly indicate whether they are in the open off position or closed on position where circuit breaker handles are operated vertically rather than rotationally or horizontally the up position of the handle shall be the on position. So if you are installing an invertible load center, you can install it lugs up or lugs down. Thinking ahead and using an invertible load center can save feeder wire and can increase the space for other wiring in your load center. However, I would suggest printing out the specs from your load center manufacturer which says it is invertible to show your inspector so that there's no question about it. Also, I would strongly suggest using lug protectors for your brand of load center, especially if you are installing it lugs down. There is extra danger from dropping tools or metal items with the lugs down method and lug protectors will increase safety. Thanks. I hope this video has been helpful.